All right, Leo, you ready to announce it? All right, so we said that we were going to give away an Abby Dinosaur. Garcia Revo SX uh, spinning fly. wheel. And maybe next time we'll give away one of Leo's Dinosaur. dinosaurs. <laughs> um, so we're going to pick the giveaway winner before the video starts. We got a, we got a random comment picker. We're going to click fetch. We're not going to do replies because I don't want to win it. Well, I'd love to win it, but I think that defeats the purpose. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's pick a winner. Big Mufasa 5843. There you go. Started following you a year ago. Love the content, man. And I definitely will say you helped this fisherman kick back into gear. I stopped for a while, came across your content, man, and you made me want to get back on them. Much love to your brother. So if you will send an email to this link right here, I will get your information. We'll get that sent out to you. Thank you for everybody that entered and Thank congratulations you, to Big Mufasa 5843. So, let's get into today's video. We got another tournament video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did Daddy, you think Daddy did good in this tournament or Daddy did bad? You think I did good or bad in this tournament? Yeah. You think good or bad? Which one? Um, yeah. You think I did, yeah? Dinosaur face. Roar! 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 There it is. There Roar. it is. That's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Larry catches the biggest bass. All right, guys, good morning. So this is my first um, local kayak tournament with the Iron City Kayak Anglers. It's just like a little local Facebook group, the Birmingham group. We have like four or five groups in Alabama. This is kind of like the central group. Today's tournament is on Inland Reservoir, somewhere where I have never been. But luckily this week, I was able to get a lot of time out on the water doing some stuff that you'll be able to see later in the summer. All the places that I went to, the fish were on bed. Now we had a whole bunch of rain come through yesterday, so I'm not sure what this is gonna set up as. Online it says this is like a clear deep reservoir. So I'm sure some of the stuff that I was doing, you know, earlier in the week should still be a thing today. As far as moving baits go, I have like coal sheds and um, that's actually the only moving bait I have tied on. I have a wacky rig. I threw a wacky rig a little bit this week for the first time. I absolutely loved it. So I'm gonna throw a wacky rig a little bit. I didn't get to practice at all just because I was so busy this week. But um, I'm thinking in my mind that it's going to be kind of like a stationary, you know, stationary bait. Just get bites as you get them. Uh, with that being said, yeah, we are on the way to our first local tournament of the year, second tournament of the year, Inland Reservoir, a place I've never been super excited for, though. All right, good morning, guys. Um, tournament's officially started. I got out a little bit later than I, I timed myself wrong this morning, but still dark. It is... 635 i'm thinking dude this like is super deep let's see 140 foot of water that's kind of spooky i'm just out here in the middle of it um so where i'm thinking to start right now is i'd like to i'd like to start in some like fairly shallow water so i'm thinking like back of this pocket right here but i know somebody else is going to be in there no doubt so It's gonna be interesting this morning. You know, just for the sake, cause I know there were three guys out here early and I'd hate to go all the way up here and there's already people in there. I'm just cut across and go in this one cause this one looks vacant. I think that's kind of what these tournaments are about. Just kind of find an open water that nobody else is at. Uh, and I should know rather quick that say one foot of depth right there? Yeah, that does. There's no way that's one foot and then that's 90 something foot over there. Oh, interesting. It's like a big flat maybe? I don't know. But they say there's really big striped bass in here. We were supposed to have a side pot and there was supposed to be a guy at the ramp taking up money, but I didn't see anybody. So I might have missed out on that for this morning. I guess I'll throw this top over. All right. So. I know y'all probably can't see too well, but I'm gonna just throw this top part. The water temp's 58, still a little cold, but when it gets above 50, when it gets about 55, that's when they say like top water can start, you know, being a factor. So 
I got on this jaywalker. It's kind of, based on what all the guys were saying about this lake, it kind of sounds like it's going to be a shootout. Like, you're going to have to fish for them today. They were saying, like, a 70-inch limit would win. 70-inch for fish limit. Well, it is four fish. It's not five. I didn't even think about that. All right, so we got water, like a big waterfall back here. I've never been out here. It's really pretty. Um, I fish like similar to this, but it seems like it's a really rocky, really hard bottom. Um, throwing the Ned Rig. It's the same thing I threw at Logan Marn. I had pretty good success with it. But we got water flowing in down here. I can't imagine there's not a fish somewhere swimming down there. Alright guys, um, we are a hour into the day. I feel like I picked a bad starting spot. Um, I'm just kind of floating around to see what's back here. I saw a couple fish bust back there. I've seen maybe like four fish on the fish finder, so I'm not really sure where the fish are going to be at. Uh, also, the wind's blowing in my face, so that kind of goes against my number one rule of, you know, you want the wind kind of blowing up against your back whenever you're fishing. You want it kind of blown into the pocket, not out of the pocket. I'm not really seeing too much that excites me. I'm gonna fish since I'm over here, but we're not gonna spend too much time over here. I'm gonna try to bounce around. I'm about to check the app. I normally don't do this, but I'm gonna check Tourney X and see if anybody has caught anything. Normally I refrain from, normally I don't check at all during the day. Somebody has two, nothing, nobody has anything good. There's only been two fish submitted. Like I've seen a few suspending some of the bigger dots. The first two big dots I saw, I'm pretty sure those are striped because those dots were huge. And I was going pretty fat. Like the dots kind of correlate with your kayak speed. So like if I go over, you know, two pounder slow, it could look like a five pounder if I was going fast, you know. So it's kind of like a there's a direct correlation to the size of the dot and your speed. Doesn't feel big. It's definitely not big. I can feel its tail shaking. <laughs> hey, it's the first one on Ned. Come here. We got a, a little spot. Let's go, boys. Look how white that fish is. It's not a bad one. First one. Well, actually, it's not a big one. <laughs> I don't know if I should say it's not a bad one. Guys, I thought I left my identifier. I was about to be hurt. No. <laughs> right here. I thought I put it in my little dry box. But I'm big on keeping a positive attitude, but that was going to send me this morning. It took me, how long have we been out here? It's been like an hour. It took me an hour to get to the first fish. Then we leave our identifier at the ramp. That was gonna be that was gonna be tragic on my end. I mean, there's really nothing that you can do about it but go get it or just give up. Small one. It's longer. Choking it. All right. Second one's a 13, so we got 25 inches or so. Cool. Catching fish. Let's get a limit. Got good overcast conditions. Don't look like they're going anywhere anytime soon either, so. I'd take these type of conditions all day. I don't know what it is about this lake. It kind of just reminds, this lake gives me 
it gives me like or let me use the young people's terms i'm getting old now i'm 23 years old so i'm old it's giving like state park energy like alabama it's giving like oak mountain state park and those lakes like that are traditionally for me at least pretty tough fishing like it's giving like there's a lot of pressure that comes through here but also i'm just saying that because i haven't also another reason why i'm saying that is just because i haven't seen a whole bunch of bait nor fish and any fish that i've seen have pretty much been hugged up against the bottom i mean that's probably a bash right there i haven't seen anything that's like oh those are you know some good fish on side or down imaging awesome that too though i have to find some bigger ones but i wouldn't mind going ahead and catching a limit or even catching a big one on this net right now so i can you know now i can do this all day even though i really don't want to but i'm sure this lake probably gets a lot of like frit side pressure and you know a lot of people are throwing cranks and jerks crankbaits and jerk baits today so probably wouldn't hurt to throw something a little different i wouldn't mind getting four 15 inches though that would be nice I feel like there's two more fish between like these trees that are sticking out of the water and like where they kind of stop at down there on that little point there's got to be oh come on no he's still on there not big no, that one's pushing the eight inch limit <laughs> We're gonna have to size up from this, but I'm gonna go ahead and catch my four. Cause um, I feel like it was kind of a subliminal lesson that I learned in that Logan Martin tournament. I caught one like this and I didn't even submit it. But I, I only ended up uh, finishing with four fish for that day. So that one more, that one extra fish could have boosted me up maybe three or four spots, you know, that extra eight inches. So. I mean, it wouldn't have, it definitely didn't help me, wouldn't have helped me win any money, but like if I was competing for Angler of the Year, you know, every fish helps, but, which I'm not doing that this year in any of these groups, because I wasn't sure how many I was going to be able to do, but definitely next year. Hey, an 11 incher, let's go. If I got off the bank a little bit more, I'd probably catch a couple bigger ones. Oh, look, there's some bigger dots. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, those are some better fish. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them over here. There we go. All right, we just went over, like, three or four pretty good-sized dots. Bigger dots. I mean, we are sitting still. Like I said earlier, you can't really tell the size of the fish when you're sitting still, but... They were suspended. Good beef fish that'll eat like a jerk bait or something. Okay, so I know there's an alligator in here, and I heard something that just sounded like a frog, but I know for a fact that wasn't a frog. Oh, I got, oh, I had one. Yeah, I most definitely just had a fish. You took my pincher of my craw. Hopefully that wasn't a big one. But anyway, what I was saying is I just heard something, some type of, it sounded like a bullfrog, but I don't think it was. It kind of sounded like it was like, it kind of, you know, when they bring the alligators to school and then they show you the sound that they make, that's what it sounded like, like a baby. It'd be cool to start sneaking up on some bigger ones. One theory that I have about any place that an alligator lives in, it always has big bass in it because those bass have to, one, stay alive and, you know, stay away from that alligator. And two, they have to compete with it for food. So I've always, always said that any place that has big bass in it, or any place that has an alligator in it, there's going to be big bass. Especially kind of like in that same, that live in that same location as the alligator. Because it always seems like places that have an alligator, the alligator hangs out in like the same general area its whole life. Or at least every time that I've seen them in places, they've always kind of, you know, some days they're there, some days they're not there. But they're always around, they're always in that one pocket. Okay, I got to start paying better attention. 
All right, right now, if I uploaded all of my fish, I'd be in first place. <laughs> if the tournament ended right now and after I uploaded all my fish, I'd be in first. Oh, what? <laughs> I saw my line like move a little bit. I always forget that the kayak's moving too. So like <laughs> my line, you know, when you're on this kayak, your line will kind of move in mysterious ways. <laughs> but shh, I saw it kind of swim a little bit. I was like, oh boy. And I felt it just a little tight. I didn't feel a tick or anything. I shouldn't have done that. That wasn't the smartest thing on my part because I probably just buried that in the log. But well, got it back. That's the cool thing about these Berkeley heads. These little half heads that Berkeley has is that they get like you don't get it back every time. I mean, it's a Ned rig, it's kind of obvious you're not always going to get it back, but it just bends out. And a lot of times, you get your hook back. And you don't have a I don't have to have a weed guard on it, it works well for lakes. I don't know about like rivers, I still want that weed guard, like probably in a river, just because you know that current's kind of hard to always be able to get straight back over to your um lure and then also just kind of for deflection but this pulls in and out of cover pretty well too like i can fish it through trees sometimes it gets stuck just because i don't always know the layout of the tree layout of the tree that i'm fishing because how am i going to know that but it's a good little bait and i haven't had to retie one yet knock on wood oh. this princess that's trying to There's another save one. her life <laughs> <There he is. laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's a better one. Oh, don't come How's off, boy. <laughs> this is my limit. I just got my fourth one. Here he is. That's a heavy one. I'm on the phone with the Emma guy. Sorry, we were we we're doing two different things today. We took two separate paths today. <laughs> but yeah, I just caught four, so I'm at. I have a limit, so now I can try to catch big ones. So now you can try to catch big ones? Yeah. Well, I mean, I like to catch like. So we can only submit four fish. Yeah. So I like to go ahead and catch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I can like up try to upgrade. So like I'm like I try to do something that I know I'll catch fish on. Yeah. And then I do something that like I think I can catch big like I might catch less, but I can catch big ones with. Huh. Period. Got you. Yeah. But yeah, sorry. Trade them in. Trade yeah. them in, boys. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to start clipping that every time I catch a big one. Trade them in, boys. <laughs> but, yes, man. What were you saying? Sorry. Ah, 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 ah. What? Oh, you jumped out of my hand. <laughs> what were you saying? I was just talking about the movie. Oh, what What it's about like it? it? Okay. It's about this princess that goes to this royal family. Uh-huh. All right, boys, that is a 12 and three quarters. No big ones. I might fish this Ned rig a little bit more throughout this pocket just because I got bit a couple times there. Um, I feel like there might be a couple more that I can pick up while I'm here. It's just ones that'll pick it up off of a tree limb and sit it down. But 
That was another one. He fought good there for a second. I gotta step it up. The first bite that I've had of it, I've had maybe two bites before I caught that one. Um, the first one felt pretty good. I just was late to set the hook on him. Or late for a hook set attempt. I want to switch it up. I've checked the standings a couple times. Uh, nobody's really submitted much of anything yet. Um, there is 117, but I, re I have a good feeling with this. Like, I feel like if I can just put this in front of some better ones that they'll eat it. Because the ones that are eating it, they're like choking it. They're eating it good. And I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I might do this until, I might get this until, I don't know. I can do this all day, the only thing. That's the only thing. Also, there's a whole bunch of fish in this pocket. So. I don't know. I love to be able to make a tournament video when I'm catching them on top water or I'm throwing a frog and catching fish, but just all of them. Well, that one's suspended in eight foot, but majority of the fish that I'm seeing are just on the bottom or close to the bottom. <laughs> I got tricked. There's definitely one pecking at it. I could feel them. This rod, it was cool. I had slack in my line, but I could feel like the jolt of the fish. It was like it would hit the tip and I could feel it come all the way through the rod. And it was like it would resonate in my forearm. <laughs> that was cool. It would have been cooler if it landed them. I don't think it was big, those ticks. That one that ate it right there felt pretty decent. That's why I can't take this off. I feel like I should be throwing something else now that I got my limit. But also, I caught a 14 incher with this, or 13 and a half, however big that fish was. Um, so, I mean, that means that bigger fish will eat it. I just got to get around them. Crawl's gone. Last one. Well, I have more. Last one out of that. I need to get more of these. They're not really eating it and holding on to it. A lot of them are just kind of picking it up. Like that one ate it like two or three times. Oh, that's a small one. <laughs> that one's definitely not going to help. been legal <laughs> I've been kind of fishing at a bad angle up here around these trees I've been parallel to them instead of facing them like this so we'll try to see if this makes any difference actually kind of fishing through them because I've been getting hung up a lot so I'm trying to take my time and fish through some of these because I've gotten bit two or three times through the trees but I've always just been at a bad angle fishing through them Another small one. It's definitely not going to help either. Yeah, I don't think that's going to help. Hey, there's two though. Means we're around them. That's probably what I'm getting from. Changing up my casting angle, I need to be out a little bit more, but. This would probably make a little bit of sense to just take this out. Use it.
go black. Let's see if they want that anymore. with the first pocket we're still in like the spot that we started in this morning we've been in here since <laughs> six o'clock this morning i've caught six or seven um no big one i'm gonna switch over to the other side of the lake i'm gonna try to go on the one that looked good originally this morning i just have a feeling there's probably gonna be a couple people in there but i feel like if i go to the other side where the wind's blowing to there might be some like more bait and whatnot, something that I can kind of make a better educated decision off of versus what we have here, where it's just, <laughs> it's really nothing. It's just kind of cast, get a bite, fight it, board it. <laughs> uh, no, I'm fishing a tournament right now. Yeah, I ran through uh, yesterday for 15, 20 minutes, but I don't know. I might go this evening. There were there really wasn't anything like outstanding there. Like nobody, there weren't any like big boost, loose strike king aren't there. Um, say it again. I said he's a bass pro though. Yeah, but not like they have a storefront. Or like they're selling stuff out of the store. Yeah. But it's not like I don't know, it's weird. Like it's not it's not how the classic was a few years ago when everything was up here. There we go. That's a fish. Oh, not a big one, but it's a fish. It's an upgrade. Okay, throw the net rig, throw the net rig, throw the net rig. That's definitely an upgrade. It'd be nice if it was 14 inches, but I think it might be like 13. <laughs> Oh man, there we go. You gotta just keep your head. You're gonna hit that kind of low point in the middle of the day. Maybe I'm not seeing any on the fish ponder because I'm just not around any big ones. Maybe they're all. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, come back here. I don't know what you think you're doing, sir, but that ain't it. Kind of this more natural color, see if they'll eat that. I'm going over the fish. I'm just not getting bite. I'm okay with hanging out here for a little bit, fishing for these suspended fish. And after this, I'll probably go to a jerk bait. There's one. That's a better one. On that foot side. I think he's better. Biggest one of the day. Large mouth. Or as I like to call them, big mouth bass. <laughs> All right, 14 and three quarters. It's not a bad one.
There we go. He was not big at all, but one eighth of the side up shallow. He just had the back hook. Be 13 to help. I don't think he is, so yeah, no. Hey, now there's another one. We caught a whole bunch of fish today. That's makes for a good video, but doesn't make for a tournament victory. <laughs> Not today, at least. So I've literally just been burning down this bank, and that's probably what I'm gonna do for the next hour or so. It's just kind of you know, lots of cash, just pray something good happens. I got my trolling motor on speed three. And I'm doing my fast crank. <laughs> the thing that y'all get on to me for in the comments, but just trying to. This is like a deeper bank, and hopefully I can pull off a couple good fish off of it. I feel like we have a good lure. We've got bit twice, or we've got we've caught two fish on two spots. But I guess the largemouth are probably where it's at because the spots in here don't seem to be too long. So I'm looking for fish that are over 13 inches right now. Let's see if I can't inch my way up. It'd be cool to catch we got five doing this off this bank and have all five of them be 19, 20 inches. <laughs> it's gonna come into like a bite window or just a good little area. Broke my bill. Maybe that's the sign I needed to change anyway. All right guys, so uh, just finished my second kayak tournament of the year. Finished 16 out of 31, uh, not the greatest day, but I just, I couldn't catch a fish over 15 inches. I started off with the Ned Rig, was able to switch over, caught one of the crankbait, uh, then pulled a couple off on that little fret side, broke the bill off of it later on in the day. And it was, we had a good day. We figured it out on a new lake. I've never been here before. It's just like a deep, clear, spotted bass, mainly reservoir. Um, yeah, so I think I have a lot to learn um, as far as like it goes with fishing these places that we have here in Alabama. This is really my first year that I'm like fully diving in. So I have to keep telling myself it's just year one, like a lot of these guys are, you know, I'm not making excuses, but a lot of these people have been, you know, doing it for a while or have a lot of experience. So, um, yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna figure it out eventually. When I figure it out, it's gonna be dangerous. I'm, I'm calling it now. I'm gonna figure it out. But uh, yeah, I just gotta figure out how to consistently catch 18 inch fish anywhere I go. Um, minimum, I need four fish that are 18 inches every time I go out. Um, minimum and I need to you know mix in a 22 or 26 and there I need to fill the board up but anyway guys with that being said that is it for tournament number two of 2024 kayak tournament number two of 2024 first local one we have another one next weekend at Cedar Creek Reservoir which I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it's like two hours away from the house so that's kind of a long drive for a day of practice and then a day of a tournament day um, so I might, I don't know, I'm still kind of back and forth on that one. Didn't go the greatest, but also didn't go the worst. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day. Also, if you've ever fished here, um, let me know how you did. 
bush your biggest bass out of this lake because I'm pretty convinced there's nothing over two pounds in this lake. Yeah, I will see y'all on the next one. Thank y'all for all of the support and also thank you for hanging out with me today. It means a lot. I know y'all can, there's a bajillion videos that y'all can click on. Y'all click on mine, so thank you. <laughs>